right. Something has happened. That needs my immediate intention. And I cannot ignore this one. So, here I am! To rant about something that just irks me so much. Now, I had a plan to come back in a much bigger way, which with a lot more excitement, a lot more fun. But Crunchyroll released Trigun Stampede. I heard about the announcement, uh, I think about a week ago, uh, thanks to some people on Discord. And it brings a lot of emotion to the forefront. To put into perspective about how much emotion came up to the forefront, I gotta preface this by saying Trigun and Trigun Maximum was one of DK's favorite series. He loved it so much and he wished upon everything that he could to see Trigun Maximum turn into a proper animation. There's a whole slew of things that were missed in the original series, and he thinks, at least from what I remember from the conversations that we had, he thought that there was a lot of missed opportunities with continuing the series or extending the series. Um, the series was a little too short, could have been more of a like Full Metal Alchemist size series. Um, with as much stuff as they put in. And more some more of the badass characters. Um, a lot more of the badass characters were really missing from the main series from the from the animation. So when I say this brought a bunch of emotions, it's mainly due to the passing of DK. But even with all those all those emotions put aside, what the heck is this? I'm sorry. Um The heck's up with his hair? I mean, okay, artistic license, I suppose. But even in the mangas, his hair was similar to how it was in the, in the anime. The hell is up with those shades? Does grandmother know that weareth thy shades? <laughs> I'm sorry, I am not fond of how Vash looks. For one. I mean, okay. I can kind of understand where they might be getting at. This is, from what I can see from the trailer, going back in time a little bit and exploring more of the prequel-esque area of how Trigun, how Vash the Sampede started his life with knives. So maybe he might look a little bit more innocent, I suppose. Maybe that's what they're going for. And I hope that's the case. I really do. Because this... Just, it ain't it, Chief. It simply is not it. This is a cover art of Trigun Maximum, as you can see. And you can definitely tell that there are... A lot of liberties being taken on how the new Vash looks. And again, I hope, I really hope that they are going for a more innocent version of Vash, where even in the anime, you had scenes like this, where he definitely looks innocent 
and a lot more cute, I suppose, than your normal idea of what Trigun looks like. But that also comes with the caveat of regularly drawn or exaggerated drawings of emotions. These things are typically done on any and all anime that you see today. You can see people's faces contorting all sorts of different ways to express emotions in a very wild and vivid manner. Trigun does that perfectly. And you can see that in almost any anime. Probably some of my favorite ones of those is Drifters, Helsing, and Trigun. You also can see some in Cowboy Bebop. You can also see some in Sora Online. You can see all over the place. The wild and vivid nature of exaggerating the emotions like that really ties in just how good of a medium anime really is. Which brings me to my next point. I don't know how apparent it is what kind of animation style it is, but you can see it right off the bat that they're using CGI. Now, in general, I really don't have a problem with CGI. CGI does really good work in Hollywood and video games, but for whatever reason, when it comes to anime, they just can't handle it. And I don't know why. They fucked it up with Berserk, they're fucking it up with this, and the only, the only good source of CG animation I really had up to this day was Land of Illustrious. And even then, it kind of irked me a little bit because it doesn't really feel the same. I didn't really like it in Ruby because it just feels clunky. Like, everybody's just walking around real stiff. There's no real, like, it doesn't feel like they're alive. Which is strange because, yes, they are supposed to be cartoons. However, for the most part, animation doesn't really have issues with those sor sorts of things. I'm not really sure why. I can't really put my finger on it. But I think it has something to do with simplicity and the exaggerated movements. It really does feel like they're more than just a drawing on the page. It really brings them, it really brings out the life in animation. I've seen some pretty good animation. Apple Seed is definitely one of them. You can definitely tell that certain scenes in Apple Seed were done wholly in CG. You can see the same thing in Ghost in the Shell. But you can always tell when the thing changed. And I do believe there was one series, and I don't remember what it was, where it felt like it seamlessly changed. There's only been the one instance. Every other one, I can instantly tell exactly where it is. And with this one, it is very apparent exactly what this anime is animated with. But also, that is a taste thing, right? For somebody who is new to anime and who's used to more CGI animation, sure, I can see it not being that much of a problem with them. And this could be just some grumpy 32-year-old who grew up with anime hating the way that anime is changing because CGI is cheaper, more reliable, and more cost-effective in the grand scheme of things. You 
buy an animation software, make some models, move them around a little bit. Technically, that's all you have to do. With drawing a thing, you have to draw it up, draw something that's close to it, draw something that's close to it, draw something that's close to it, and put it all together like a big flip book. So I know I'm oversimplifying everything about animation, but it does boil down to those basic components. And with the drawing, you need a team of probably 21 to 30 people, maybe more, maybe way more. Whereas CGI, you might only need about five or six, maybe even as little as three or four. In terms of cost, it is definitely much more effective. I do believe that this is the way that the anime industry is moving towards. But there is a big difference on what people have done in the past with 2D, with the main 2D drawings that they have done. Recently, I've been getting into Yu Yu show again, and I've rewatched tr I've rewatched Trigun, I've rewatched Cowboy Bebop, I've rewatched some of these older series with a friend of mine who hasn't seen any of these, and it really does bring out a huge amount of difference between what was animation then, what is animation now, and what animation is looking like it's heading, and I do believe that is heading towards for lack of a better term, a lazy animation style where a lot more things are set up with a machine or you have more cookie cutter settings that you can just paste onto different series. And I think that the cookie cutter setting is where we're at right now. If you add that into the CGI aspect of it, I don't like where this is going. And on that cookie cutter setting where we are now, you can definitely see this a lot with popular animes from the last probably 10 years. A lot of these series have a lot of shoulder and up shots. It makes it a lot more simpler to animate, thus lowering the cost of animation and lowering the need for a huge amount of teams. And you can then spend that budget on more action-oriented scenes or a lot more detailed scenes. You can see these things in almost everything. I notice it in SAO. Sometimes Kirito gets right up next to the camera where you can only see his shoulder and his face and you cannot see what his arms are doing. And it's just him kind of bouncing up and down as he's talking. And you may have somebody right next to him talking as well. And the point of view can just shift around his shoulders and make it seem like more is going on. But in terms of animation, there's not actually a lot going on. But also with that cookie cutter setting with CGI, it tends to be a lot clunkier. I don't understand exactly why I feel this way. It might be something to do with an uncanny valley or it might just be me have being stuck in the 90s or the 2000s and I'm just too old and I need to just get over it but considering that the majority of comments that I see have the same apprehensions about diving into this full and wholeheartedly there is definitely something to be said with how CGI is being handled and I don't think it is being handled very well Biggest thing, faces. Gotta be more expressive. I pray, Orange, I saw you do fantastic things in Husaki no Kuni. 
And I think that the biggest thing was mouths. In Hoseki no Kuni, you simplified the mouth. And I do believe that this is proof that you are simplifying the mouth and not doing the exact same thing that was done in Berserk, which was almost horrifying. But even here, I don't know what mouth movement he's actually doing. Like, eh. Something like that? I don't know. That <laughs> looks ridiculous on me. And it just seems like because they have this mentality of cookie cutterness that it just makes things feel not right. And I could be wrong. Of course, we could argue about animation into infinity and beyond. We can argue about animation as long as we want. Unfortunately, that may come down to personal opinions. And I can see that. Moving on a little bit from that argument are a little bit more of nitpicks. They showed some key details in the trailer and I have no idea what the heck this is. Is that a crystal arm? It looks like something out of Hoseki no Kuni. It looks like Land of the Lustrious. Why is it in this space western? I just don't see this fitting this setting. I don't understand how it mechanically can even function. Let alone how it got here. There's really been nothing in the Trigon mythos, I guess, that has this sort of thing. And this makes me this makes me believe that they are trying to remake through a prequel series what Trigon is. And I do not like where that's going. It has the bone, but it doesn't have the bone. It just, this doesn't look like it should function that well. I don't know. And does it have thumbnails? Fingernails? I don't get it. I just don't get it. That's something else I don't get. And this is probably the most nitpicky thing that I could pick at, but this one irks me on another level. Bash the Stampede had a 45 long colt, six cylinder 45 long colt given to him by Knives, his brother, after Knives blew his arm off. A 45 long colt is way bigger than this, and this is a 38 special. This is 44, this is a 357 Magnum. Comparing the two side by side, you can see that it just one is longer than the other. However, when it comes to the 45 long colt, you're probably gonna get almost not quite twice the twice the size of these. And these, in comparison with my thumb, are pretty big. And this leads me to believe, along with a few other things, including 
the fact that this is a typical cylinder. You can see these fit quite well and it fills up the cylinder. Most, like, mostly fills it up. This is a six cylinder similar to what Vash would have had. Of course, his cylinder would probably be a little bit more like that. This is a pretty big gun. And Vash's gun is considerably bigger. I do believe that his regular his regular gun is about this longer, that much wider. And down here, it's a little bit more thicker and thicker this way. And at the same time, his barrel comes from below. With all those things being said, I do believe that what we are seeing here is a demasculinity statement from Japan or the anime industry or maybe even Orange. I don't know. But I do believe that that, what he is holding is a 22 regular rimfire cartridge one of the most one of the smallest calibers that you can get and for the most part you can't really hurt a whole lot with it especially a person could you kill with a 22 yes probably i mean it is a bullet if you try hard enough, you might get somewhere. But I've heard weird stories about 22s not being able to actually do what they're intended to do. I believe that this right here is demanding my man Vash the Stampede. He's going to carry around a giant, giant gun. And he's going to shoot the smallest of small rounds that, even if used properly, may not get the job done well enough. I could probably go into a little bit more detail, but I don't think... I don't think YouTube really appreciates gory little details. But I will say, it could not enter, especially through the forehead. Why are they doing this? And I hope, I really hope, that that is not the case. Because this is, as I've said before, a very beloved series to a ton of people. Quite frankly, one of Otaku Saga's favorite series. And I'm sure if I'm sure if DK actually saw this trailer, he'd probably be rolling in his grave. Who knows? He might have actually seen it. I don't like where this one's going. But you can be damn sure that I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be paying close attention. And I seriously hope, Orange, don't mess this one up. Please, don't mess this one up. I liked what you did, No Second No Cuny. I liked it. Couldn't quite finish it because I didn't really like the story all that much. But it was good animation. I don't see that here. I don't see it. Anyway. Rant off my chest. If y'all made it to the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. A huge apology. To all of our viewers. All the people who've stood by us for the past. Six, seven years. Rizzo is. Out in Japan still. 
He seems to be doing fine, but uh, COVID has him kind of tangled up. Can't really do a whole lot other than go to school. Hopefully he can get back to us at some point. As for me, work keeps me busy, and there's not really a good way for me to live stream while I'm working at this particular company. I don't know if that's going to be changing anytime soon. I'm hoping to do a little bit more things like this. So if you liked what I if you liked what I did, let me know in the comments, please. I really use your feedback. Did I do go too harsh on this one? Is it weird me flashing a gun on the screen? Let me know. I'm just a weirdo on the internet. As always, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zero, and I'll see you next time.